Hello and welcome or welcome back to True Seekers Tea. My name is Kate and as always, I am so thankful to have you here, whether you are returning or you are new. I'm happy to have you. So for today's pick a card reading, we're going to be looking at a certain important connection in your life. And this is really going to be up to you to think about that. And we're going to be looking at what is your person holding back from you? What are they not obviously transparently showing you about their feelings, about what they're going through, anything that's important for you to know? So what's hidden? What are they holding back? And it's not meant to be like, what's their secrets? Or it's not necessarily about like, oh, they're hiding this secret relationship. It's just like, what are they not comfortable? Or like, what are they holding back? You know, and just kind of going into that so you guys can have more information about your person and you can feel um, more sure about where you stand with them, where they stand with you. So there are three piles to choose from. Before I get into that, I do want to say that we do have an extended reading as usual. Um, for each pile, we're going to be looking at your persons. We're going to go be going deeper into their feelings for you. Um, we're going to be using both tarot and oracle. We're going to be looking at where this person really honestly wants this connection to go. Like, what are they hoping for? And then we're going to be getting some advice for you on whatever you need to hear about this connection, whatever might be holding you back, whatever, whatever you need to know, essentially, from your guides. So... I'll have that link down below underneath the timestamps if you guys are feeling like you want more information and it really hit the nail on the head for your person. So there are three piles to choose from. For pile number one, we have the gold foil tarot with this citrine point. For pile number two, we have the numinous tarot with this pink quartz or rose quartz um, point. And then for pile number three, we have the Way of the Panda Tarot with this clear quartz uh, raw crystal. So go ahead and take whatever time you need to tune into what which pile you're feeling drawn to. There, as always, could be multiple messages um, within different piles for you. It's going to be up to you this time to use your intuition as to whether or not this sounds like your person, it sounds like your situation. There's a little bit less of an energy check-in I didn't really mean to do that, but that's just the way I guess I ended up doing it. So um, what was I going to say? There's something else I, oh yeah, I've been noticing a lot recently that sometimes I'll channel something and it's like the reverse energy. So it's almost like if we were going to be talking about your own energy and someone else was talking. So if you get a pile like that, you definitely can listen to it and maybe it might help you sort out your feelings or it might validate your feelings and... Sometimes it can just be nice to hear, but if you don't want to listen to that, you can always just pick a different pile because likely your person's energy might just be in a different pile, but spirit, for whatever reason, wanted you to hear it the other way. And if you can't find your person's energy, you know, I have a lot of other pick a card readings that you might want to go to, but spirit will always bring through what is for your highest good to hear. So maybe for some of you, it is hearing it from another point of view, so... I will have the decks listed down below. I'll have the timestamps. I will have any information about me if you guys are curious. And other than that, I don't have anything else. Thank you for being here and I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the gold foil tarot and the citrine point, this is gonna be your reading about what is currently hidden about your person. What is this person potentially holding back from you or like what is the secret about them something around that so it doesn't have to be something negative it could just be something that this person hasn't completely opened up to you about yet um so we're actually just gonna get right into it for the extended reading if you do feel like this sounds like something that's going on with your person there will be an extended where we're going to be looking at how this person feels about you what they want to happen in this connection and then we'll get advice for you. But for now, we're just gonna look at what is the hidden truth of this person. What are they holding back? What are they not telling you essentially? So I've already pulled some Oracle cards here. So we have the devil with Capricorn. Um, it says, I use, we have the tower with Uranus and genius. We have man holding a heart. We have metamorphosis. We have between worlds. 
We have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. And then we have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Okay, so I actually want to pull one more card really quick. Um, where is that deck? One second. I guess I don't need to. Um, but what I'm seeing here is this is someone who's going through an extremely significant transformation, transition in their life. Um, I feel like this is someone who is in the process of becoming a more true version of themselves. And I feel like whatever illusions have been in this person's life about their identity or about what they want in life is really shifting. So if you're in a relationship with this person, what is hidden is that this person is really changing right now. So anything that is stable in this person's life, anything that's already been established is definitely going to be shaken up. So for some of you, I feel like this could be a message that this person, you may need to expect a tower moment around this person. If you're in something stable with this person, this is someone who is not in a position to completely commit to something right now because they're, they're in a process of change. And it's like this inevitable falling apart of who they thought they were, what they thought they wanted. All this person's values are shifting and who they're becoming is going to be very different than who they once were. So if this is someone that you're already in a commitment with, then what is hidden is that they are in a process of transforming. And so this commitment may not be something that you are able to rely on. If this is someone that is newer in your life, then there's a sense that this person is if you know them to be in any sort of solid foundation or if you know them to be in a relationship already, if they're in some kind of commitment, this connection is currently falling apart because of a radical change in who they are. So I do want to get some clarification before we keep going. Um, what is the hidden truth here about pile number one's person? I'm hearing like everything is not as it seems. And so it's almost like there's nothing to hold on to about this person. So if there's a past version of them that you are holding on to, I feel like they are not going to be that person anymore. Um, we also have lightning here, which is sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So I would expect some sort of shocking news from this person. What this person is not telling you is that they're going to be making some drastic shift in their life. Um, yeah, let's get some more though. What's the hidden truth about pile number one's person? the page of cups we have the king of cups we have man holding a heart here too and this does talk about a transformation from a page to a king What's the transformation here? What's going, what's the hidden truth about Pound One Person? We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Magician. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups at the back of the deck. Okay, so... The hidden truth about this person is that 
they are manifesting some kind of a new emotional beginning. This person... I feel like they want to come public about their feelings for you. There's a sense here that... It's like they've been working behind the scenes to transform themselves. So... Expect change in this connection. Expect a lot of progression. Expect for... So the hidden truth is this person has deep feelings for you. They're in the process of changing. They're in the process of... I just want to clarify some of these things. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? We have the Chariot. So the secret of behind this person is that, um, and we have the Lovers at the back of the deck. This is someone who has a lot of feelings for you. Um, they may not be showing you just how much they want to pursue this connection with you. Especially if you've seen this person as someone who is unavailable or in another connection or maybe you, you didn't know like how interested this person is in you. With sunglasses here, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. You may think that this person isn't focused on you right now or like they're focused on something else. But I feel like this person is manifesting a, an opportunity to show their feelings to you. Maybe this would be very shocking. They're, yeah, they're in the process of some kind of transformation where you may not realize just how much this person has feelings for you. This person has deep feelings for you. They... Maybe this person's even had a shocking realization of their feelings for you is what I'm getting. Like maybe this person has recently realized just how deep their feelings are for you. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a sip of water. Let's clarify. So why, um, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? We have the Queen of Cups here in the reverse position. It's like they're working on... Being able to move towards you or being able to express their emotions to you. Why is Page of Cups here? Page of Pentacles. This person wants a new beginning with you is what I'm getting. So what, what's hidden is that they, they want to offer you something. They're watching you. They are transforming something that maybe was holding them back from you. Why is the Magician here? Temperance, yeah. So this person's alchemizing right now. So I'm getting here. This person is in a process of transformation. They're doing this work so they're able to reveal their emotions to you. So they're able to have some kind of a victory with you. With the Knight of Cups here, yeah. So this person is... It's like they may seem like a Page of Cups and out of nowhere turn into this King of, this King of Cups who has this confidence to pursue you and maybe wants to offer you some kind of a commitment. They're in the process of breaking apart something in their life right now so they can make some kind of movement towards you. Why is the Six of Wands here? Two pentacles. Yeah, it's like they're just trying to find some kind of balance in their life right now. It's like there's there's some kind of upheaval going on, right? And they may just be... What you don't see about this person is just how focused they are on a re relationship with you. <laughs> like, just how focused they are on building something in the future with you. So maybe what 
you may know that this person is maybe there's a lot up in the air for them right now and you're not sure of this person's um thoughts feelings emotions for you like what their intentions are you may just know that there's a lot of upheaval in their life a lot changing and you may see them as like in this process of becoming and maybe it's like what you don't see is what they're going to emerge as which feels like a brand new person um and i'm i heard the song by frank ocean um like what's it called um i've been thinking about forever um and so this could be also like a lgbt relationship I hope I said that right. Sorry, guys. Um, like a same sex relationship here. Um, so maybe because with the year with the tower card that can even talk about unconventional sort of um, relationship dynamics. So maybe this is someone who's in the process of transforming that. But if it's not that, then they maybe are like, like, for example, this could be someone who maybe you didn't align with this person because maybe they were very conservative seeming or like they had certain values that maybe seemed like they would be incompatible with yours but like that's something that's shifting and it's like whatever whatever conventional 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 things that maybe held you away from this person it feels like that's shifting right now and it's like they're in the process of becoming a version of themselves that's more compatible with you but it's also their true selves it's not like they're changing themselves to just win you over it's like they're having this realization about their feelings for you and I feel like they're having to uproot a lot in their life now to come forward to you and to be compatible with you so it doesn't have to be same gender or same sex relationship but it just feels like this is someone who you don't see the full picture of what's going to happen, of what this person wants to occur in the connection with you. Um, this person's juggling a lot in their life right now with the hopes of a victory with you. Why is the King of Cups here? And it's like they're just going with the flow right now. We have the Three of Cups here. Six of Cups. Yeah, this person feels like you're a soulmate to them. This person feels like they want to come towards you. Yeah, this person has a lot of hopes of connecting with you. I feel like this is someone who... Like, they may be coming off more lighthearted to you or something. Or, like, you may not know the depth of this person's feelings. Can we get one more for the King of Cups? What is the depth of this person's feelings here? That is this what's hidden? They may be leaving something conventional. Yeah, the fool. It's like this person wants to have a new beginning with you. And they're in the process of transforming that. So that's what you don't see about them. Is that they are on their way towards of wanting a victory with you. Wanting to move things forward with you. Wanting to express their emotions with you. Um... And especially if they've been holding back their feelings. It's like they want to make it public, though. There's something here where it's like they want to make the relationship with you public. Or they want to proudly declare their feelings to you. Um, this is also Aquarius energy here. Um, so we have Cancer. We have Sagittarius energy. Um, we have Scorpio energy here as well. Yeah, so we have a lot of water energy, a little bit of fire with the six of wands. So I want to see like what, what do you think is going on? What does pile number one think is going on with this person right now? What is their perception of them? The king of swords. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe this person is coming off like very large. Can we get a couple more for that? What are they coming off like? To pile number one. The five of pentacles. Yeah. You may know that this person is going through some kind of difficult transition right now. You may, f you may even feel left out in the cold by this person. Or you may even feel like there isn't going to be a way to... You may be at a distance from this person. And you may feel like... 
you don't know how much this person even wants a future with you or something or like it may, a lot of just might seem up in the air right now. It might feel like there's a lot of obstacles between you and this person, but this is someone that has their eyes on you and wants to move towards you, wants things to work out with you um, for sure. So that's what I'm picking up on. Let me, um, let me see if there's any other decks that I could clarify this with. It's like this person has had some kind of an epiphany about you and the connection. All right, let's get some of these. Can we clarify what's hidden right now about pile number one's person? We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This person maybe like wants to take a trip with you or wants to travel to you even. What's hidden? What's hidden about this person? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Then we have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship, past life relationship. Yeah, so this person maybe has not shown you just how focused they are on you, just how much they want a relationship with you, um, just how optimistic they are right now about the relationship with you. They may not be showing like how much they want to change for the positive with you. Like maybe you know a lot is going on in this person's life or maybe a lot is changing in this person's life. And so you may feel like this person doesn't have a clear direction with where they want to go, but they do. That's what's hidden is that they 100% want to manifest a new beginning with you, a relationship with you. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. Past life relationship too. True love. Okay, let's get some messages from this person. And take these with a grain of salt. I will um, feel like translate them because sometimes they come out and they're not like perfectly worded. But what messages, um, what are some hidden messages in regards to uh, the hidden truth about Paul and Ron's person? It says we still have to work on ourselves. I'm afraid of losing you. It says I'm struggling to resolve my life. We both changed. I'm not sure about the future. It says I'm heartbroken and need healing. I feel like this is what like is apparent. Yeah, I want a fresh start. So I feel like this is almost what's apparent about this person is like, I feel like what you might see in this person is that they are working on themselves. There is a lot changing and they aren't, they aren't sure about the future, but I feel like they, they may be struggling to resolve their life, but this person wants a fresh start with you regardless. Like, so what you don't see is, although maybe this person is going through a hard time or is maybe resolving other things in their life, nonetheless, they're thinking about a fresh start with you. Like, that's the biggest thing I would get from this is that you might think this person is in no position right now to start a relationship with you but they that that's what they want and that's what their intentions are right now and i feel like they're just not showing that yeah i want to see where okay well actually let me just get a love um guidance card here and then we'll take it into the extended and we'll see what this person's feelings are for you what they truly want we'll kind of just go deeper into this energy yeah new beginning a new adventure awaits um Uh, what I'm saying, though, is we will get into the extended and we'll keep going further into what this person's feelings are for you, um, where they are hoping to take the connection, maybe any next moves, anything you need to know about where this is headed. And we'll get advice for you on this person. So if this resonated and the, yeah, secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. So Yeah, it just feels like you might feel like this person. It's almost like what's hidden right now is is just how much they are not necessarily off balance. It's like, yes, they might have a lot to resolve in their life right now, but this person's main focus is you and coming towards you and making progress, moving this connection forward. Like, that's what they want most. What other messages do we have for this? What are the hidden messages here? 
pile number one, pile number one's person. It says, imagine all unwanted, all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. That's what this person's doing. It's like, even though there might be a lot of like upheaval or chaos in their life right now, a lot of changes, regardless, they're, what they're focused on most is creating new opportunities and new possibilities. And I feel like you that's something that they want with you. I think this person wants union with you. Yeah, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. It says trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And it says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. Yeah, so... Although there might be a lot of change going on in this person's life or in your life, this nonetheless, that does not affect their capacity for feelings for you. This person has deep feelings for you that, and they want to open up the door to a new um, opportunity with you, a new relationship, um, despite what's gone on in their past, despite where they've been at. Even if you didn't know that this person maybe was interested or maybe you didn't even know that they were like... A, gonna be available to like focus on you it's like they're very focused on you they want to they have a lot of feelings for you that i think this person has not expressed and it could even be that they want to create some sort of upheaval or change even in this relationship so if there's been some kind of a status quo or deception or like mass on in this relationship this person is like i'm hearing i'm uh coming in like a wrecking ball so i'm gonna take into the extended now we're gonna get more information on this we're gonna see what this person's feelings are we're gonna see what they really want um maybe what you don't know or like what's surprising about this person's feelings we're just gonna go deeper into it so if you guys want more we'll have that in the extended but this is what i have for your reading so far if you found this helpful i do appreciate if you're able to hit the like button leave a comment I do appreciate all of your guys' feedback and if you want to see more readings from this channel i would appreciate if you subscribe so you are able to see future pick a card readings from this channel and so you don't miss a future one so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i hope to connect with you soon and maybe this person is sneaking away from some other kind of situation i don't know that's what i'm getting but we'll get more information in the extended if you guys want to join me hello pile number two welcome to your reading if you chose the numinous tarot with this rose quartz point this is going to be your reading where we're looking at what your person is currently holding back from you. What don't you see? What are they not apparently showing you? So I'm leaving it very open. It could be honestly anything. So I've already pulled some Oracle cards. So we're just going to get into the Oracle first. But I do want to clarify quite a bit with the tarot. So um, there also will be an extended reading where we're going to be looking at this person's true feelings for you. We're going to be looking at where they want the connection to go and then we'll be getting guidance for you on the connection so if this really feels like your pile i just want to let you know that that is available in the description box underneath the timestamps. so for what this person is holding back from you we have the moon with cancer i feel we have the mountain we have new life we have the thinking woman we have sunglasses with watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Um, this was also in pile number one, the sunglasses, so they could be related in some way. Um, we also have the snake, so it says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. And then we also have communication, but it came out in reverse. Okay, so the energy I'm getting from your person is with this snake here i'm not getting it in the most negative sense i'm more getting that this person is not really showing you or is at least not communicating with their words their feelings for you so this is this is coming through as a kind of mysterious energy with the moon here there's something kind of mystical or mysterious about this connection and with the thinking woman, it's like 
they're coming off to you I think as this for me is like the queen of swords and so it's like they're holding up a very strong external mask that they're unbothered or unfazed by the connection but I feel like they want some kind of a new beginning with you and then so it's like they watch you or it's like they're very perceptive is what I'm getting this person is very perceptive and it's like they don't say what they're it's like they have a lot of thoughts maybe about your current situation or about you that they don't let on I'm getting like a high priestess energy like an energy of someone not showing their cards or just kind of waiting for things to play out in a sense um so I feel like this is someone you may speak with or like this may be someone like I feel like is in your life in some capacity um with this snake here in the mountain there could be someone else in this connection this could be a third party situation it doesn't have to be but there's with the mountain here there's some sense of distance or some obstacle between you and this person and I feel like what they're not telling you or what they're what's like being held back is how they are strategizing or they do have a goal or purpose to move through that obstacle so they may not be saying that though it may be that they're not like like let's say there's some kind of barrier like distance or another relationship or um maybe there's like a job or maybe this is like a workplace maybe there's just some sort of barrier here that would make a connection with this person more difficult you may think this person isn't thinking about a connection or like they may just come off like their business or like they're just not bothered by that but I think this person is actually more bothered than they reveal by the distance or the barriers between you and I feel like they are wanting to find a way around that even though they don't communicate that is what I'm getting so what this person isn't communicating is that there may be some sort of obvious reason why this connection maybe would be more difficult for it to work what they don't communicate is that they don't see that as an issue um they still are interested in you and it's like they're they're planning it's like I think this person with cancer, it's like they have deep, em with the cancer, it's like they have deep emotions and they have like a soft spot for you inside, but externally, I think they're more guarded. So they are very guarded with you and almost sneaky, like, I mean, but not in a bad way, not in a way where like they're trying to do anything wrong. It's just that they're very cautious and very like silent in their intentions, silent in their true perceptions or what they really want you know it's like they they don't reveal a lot this person so what else, what is this person can we clarify what pile number two's person is hiding or not showing we have the three of tomes which is the three of pentacles we have the ten of tomes and the wheel of fortune Yeah, there's a sense here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like they're not trying to control this, this situation. But they're waiting for some kind of a turn of events is what I'm getting. With the Three of Tomes, yeah, again, there could be some way that you collaborate with this person in some capacity. Um, maybe on a project, work, or you may just, I don't know, there may be some sort of shared association. With the Ten of Pentacles, there's a lot of like books here and like, a lot about learning this person may be very smart with yeah with a thinking woman this is someone who comes across very analytical very well read intelligent we have the wheel of fortune here so what they're not saying is it, they want some kind of a progression from the three to the ten what else what are they hiding with the two of tomes okay We have the creator of candles, which is the queen of wands. What are they not showing? What are they hiding? Yeah, we have the lovers. Yeah, so what this person is not explorer of vials. This is the knight of cups. Yeah, so this person has feelings for you. Um, 
but they're coming off like it's all business or like they they're just I don't know there's this sense of casualness or like they have everything together and I do think this person is very controlled and they do have things together but they they're very attracted to you with the queen of wands here and the lovers it's they think that this could be they feel like there's something faded here um they feel like it's like they don't even they may this is what i'm getting they have like this trust that this connection is meant to be and they almost feel like they don't have to it's like they see the unseen here in a way with the moon and so what i'm getting is things are not as they seem in this connection or there is some deeper content especially when it comes to emotions and mystery and even like fate here where it's like this person feels like there's some sort of faded connection here and that they have feelings for you but they are trying to balance out they're doing a very good job of balancing out this future plan that they have with what's going on in the present it's like they're not pushy it's like this person doesn't want to push anything forward there's this energy of like a quiet confidence or just feeling like things are gonna work out with you so it's almost like they don't even feel like they have to chase you or push anything or like say anything. It's uncommunicated here. Um, can we clarify the three of pentacles? Give me the six of wands. Why is the ten of pentacles here? Yeah, ten of cups. So this person sees a future with you is what I'm getting is that they... They feel like even though there might be some barrier, again, it could be something to do with work or like priorities about needing to prior prioritize different things or having a lot on their plate or maybe something in your life. But it's like they feel like this is faded, like they just know that there's going to be some kind of a victory. It's like this confidence that they have that that everything's going to work out as it's supposed to. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. So this person, what they're hiding is... They may be coming off very casual or, but they feel a lot deeper underneath and they feel this connection very strongly. They feel there's sort of a spiritual element here where they, oh my gosh, I just heard every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. So yeah, this person could be watching you or studying you or something. It's like they're wa it's like they're watching and waiting though. It's not in a creepy way though. It's like they're waiting to see how things unfold. It's like they know this person could have like a really strong intuitive energy to them. Why is the wheel of fortune here? The seven of wands. Can we get one more for that? The Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Cups. Yeah, it's like they're waiting for an opportunity to be in a situation where they can let their guard down. It's like this person may have a guard up or they may be seeming disinterested. But it's like they're kind of waiting for the right moment is what I'm getting. With the Wheel of Fortune. They feel like things are going to improve for the better. But until then, they do have this very guarded energy towards you. Why is the two of pentacles here? We have the mystic of tomes. So this is the king of pentacles. Yeah, so it's it's like they come off like very confident and grounded and in like just very balanced. So this person is someone who comes through very, because they are. So it's not that they're hiding that. It's almost that they're hiding that they feel confident that this connection is going to turn into something more deep with you. But they don't show this in a way that's like, um, they don't really show a, like a more romantic side of them or they don't show like a page of cups energy. It's not their, where they're like, oh my gosh, I have such a crush on pile number two. It's like this very powerful energy that's very grounded and feels unstoppable. Like they, they feel like they don't even have to compete or they don't even have to worry about obstacles because it's like this energy of I know what's mine is for me so they come off very calm cool and collected yeah they're very confident why is the queen of wands here 
the two of cups yeah so this person sees though like a relationship with you they're very attracted to you but you wouldn't know that by the way that they like act they don't really act giddy or like they don't trip over their words like they come through very well spoken very like serious in a sense like they do come across kind of serious or grounded but they do feel this uh partnership soulmate connection with you why is the lover yeah we the lovers and the two of cups why is the lovers here four of pentacles there's an energy here of like this nine of cups yeah so it's like they know you're their wish fulfillment they know you're a soulmate and there's kind of a protective energy over you and i'm getting that with the cancer too this person kind of wants to they have this energy of wanting success or victory with you like they want they want some sort of like specific outcome with you and there's like there's no way that i'm gonna lose in this or like with the four of pentacles it's like they feel like it's it's faded or they don't they feel protective almost a little bit possessive over you but not really though it's it's almost like a divine masculine energy or it's like an energy that's like protective or even that cancer energy where it's like they just want to protect what they care about but it's in a very hands-off way why is the four of pentacles here we have the nine of swords yeah there's a sense here of them not wanting to lose you though What are they worried about? Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Seven of Pentacles. So it could be that they... It's like they're not worried is what I'm getting. It's like this energy where it's like they... They know when the time is right things are going to go the way that they think. But the main thing that they're hiding is like this plan that they have or like this, we have the Empress at the back. They are patient. This is like a patient person. Someone who doesn't feel like they need to rush anything. They don't need to control anything. It's like they just feel like things are going to work out with you, I guess. So this could be someone you don't even know has feelings for you is what I'm getting. But yet they have like a whole future plan. They seem like they're not focused on you, but they are, is what I'm getting. Um, what is, what's being hidden right now about pile number two's person? What are they holding back? Like a plan, a, a vision of the future, a desire to build something with you. We pay attention to the red flags. What is this person holding back? We have worth waiting for. Yeah, like for sure. Let your friends help you. Pay attention to the red playfulness. I feel like this person is like almost is is looking out for red flags in your life. Like there's an energy of wanting to protect you from or wanting you to see red flags in a certain situation with the snake here. This person almost wants to protect you is what I'm getting. But with worth waiting for, again, that's that patience. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, so this person may be a friend to you or maybe someone who's just supporting you. Um, I want to clarify, what's the red flags? Why pay attention to the red flags? We have the high priestess. It's like this person... F it's like they're, they're just... They have this inner knowing about you... And so it may even be that there are red flags in this connection. Here's the thing. It's like this energy of there are red flags in this situation. Like, for example, maybe there's a third party. Maybe this is a workplace connection. Maybe there's distance or there's just some obvious reason why this shouldn't work. Regardless, they're not like letting that be a problem. So there could be some obvious reason why this isn't a connection that makes sense, but they're not letting that have them not believe in it like they have this strong belief that this connection is like faded or meant to be yeah so hopefully that resonates or that is some kind of a situation that um you're dealing with or intuitively i feel like you would know who this person is all right let's get some love oracle cards and then we'll take it into the extended 
What is um, hidden here for pile number two's person? Okay. It says life is this, this, this came out in the um, first pile as well. So it says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. Yeah, this is with this person. They're like going with the flow and I kept seeing like a river or water just like moving around a mountain. And so it's like there may be some mountain in this situation, some obstacle, but it's like this person knows things are going to shift and change with the Wheel of Fortune. And it's like they just feel like if they just flow through it, they're not going to like stress about it though. It's like there's this energy of I'm not going to stress, but I care a lot. <laughs> this is like a high vibrational energy. Um, what else for pile number? What is hidden here? Just pile number um, two is person keeping hidden. Playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Yeah, we also have playfulness at the back of the deck here. So they may want to, um, they may be just like trying to be lighthearted with you or, um, yeah, they, it's like they, they're taking they're even though there might be serious obstacles in the situation, they have a, like a lighthearted energy to them or like, they're not trying to take it too seriously. What else? Yeah, we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in the spirit. Um, believe this and. They will manifest physically and then at the back of the deck transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things and like that's what this person just believes with the lovers there it's like this person thinks you're their soulmate and they're kind of just waiting for the stars to align without needing to panic over any obvious obstacles like they don't feel like they have to be responsible for removing them so yeah, that's what I'm getting for your person. Um, I'm going to take into the extended. If you guys want to join me, I will have it linked underneath the time stamps. Um, if you found this helpful in any way, I do appreciate if you're able to hit the like button to leave a comment. And if you want to see future readings from this channel, I would love for you to subscribe. So you're able to see um, future pick a card readings that um, I post. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number three, if you chose the way of the panda tarot and this clear quartz crystal point, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at what your person is currently hiding, not necessarily in a bad way, but what are they holding back from you right now? What do you maybe not know? What's not clear within this relationship? What are they holding back on telling you, essentially? So... I've already pre-pulled some oracle cards, so let's take a look at those, but then we'll spend most of the time in tarot, just to clarify, because I'm not really doing an energy check-in for this, so please make sure you listen to your intuition and make sure that the situation sounds like it makes sense for you, but we will be clarifying quite a bit. So we have the tower with Uranus and Genius, we have Door to Romance, we have a change in the wind, we have coming to life. We have childhood and endurance. And then we have date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. So let me just make sure. Let me push this up a little bit. All right, that looks good. So what I'm seeing, what, what your person is holding back from you is what's coming through most clearly is that this person has recently had some kind of an epiphany or it's like if you've had a certain kind of status quo in this relationship with this person or maybe this person, maybe it seemed like they weren't interested in a relationship or maybe it seemed like they were focusing on other things. So I could see this being like someone that maybe was more focused on their career or someone that felt like they were going in one direction in their life. And for whatever reason, that one direction feels like it may have made this connection an impossibility. 
I also want to say this this card did come out in pile number one, so there could be a similar energy there. I am filming this one a couple of days later, so I don't know if it's like a repeat pile, but I don't ask spirit for that, but it might just be slightly different. So of course, just go with your intuition. If you're here, this is your reading. So if you feel like it's your reading too. But we have um, we have two things about romance. We have door to romance and, and date here. So with the change in the wind, this person's had an extreme change of perspective around this connection. And I feel like this person is holding back that if they felt stagnant in their life or if they felt like there's been a lot going on or maybe they've been with childhood here, there could be certain childhood wounds that they were still working through or are still working through or even certain childhood patterns. Like there could be still karmic patterns when you met this person working out in their life. But it's like they've had some kind of an epiphany about the things in their life. So this could be relationships. This could be goals. This could even be self-identities that are not a real representation of the the truth. Oh, and I'm hearing um, Beyonce Sandcastles. Um, I don't know if it says... Oh, I'm hearing it really loud. <laughs> um, we built sandcastles. Um, wash them away. I'm trying to remember the rest of the lyrics. I can just hear the song, but it's like I almost don't hear the words. But this person is realizing maybe something that they've been building, something that they've been focused on is not the right direction. With the change in the wind, it's like they're changing their direction, essentially. And it feels like with date and door to romance that they are they feel called in your direction, especially towards... um maybe opening the door to something romantic between the two of you if it hasn't been like that and with endurance here that's what makes me feel like this person maybe had been going through something so you may know that this person is struggling in some way or you might at least know that they maybe they're burnt out on something or like they feel like they're really pushing through but like i feel like what you don't see is that this person wants to push through with the idea of um, making it work maybe in this relationship with the hearts here um, it's like, yes, maybe they've been going through a lot. Maybe they haven't been feeling a hundred percent or they haven't really been themselves. What you, what they're holding back is that they're like coming back to life and they, they want to get back out there and they want to potentially build a relationship with you is what I'm getting. But let's get some tarot. Let's clarify. Can we clarify this energy? What is for pile number three? What is their person holding back? What information? What truth are they holding back? Six of Pentacles. I'm hearing we have three Pentacles. I'm hearing that maybe this person feels like they're in a position to give more to you than maybe you realize. Like, I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, it's like, I'm getting this strong message that maybe your perception of this person is that they're in no place to start something new or they're not in any place to be able to focus on you or be in a partnership with you. Maybe you felt like this person was needing to focus on themselves or something else so they didn't have enough energy. But I'm seeing with the Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, it's like this person wants to build something with you and they feel like they can, they're going to be able to take part in give and take with you. What else? What is pile number three's person holding back? We have the Knight of Swords. <laughs> so I feel like they, they're very sure. Like they're not, um, maybe you feel like this person is still like trying to figure things out. I'm going to get a sip of water one second. But something I'm seeing that is being hidden is just how fast paced this person feels about you it's like this person this is the fastest moving night in the tarot so it's like what you what they're holding back is just how sure they are of themselves and how they feel about this connection what they want for the connection and how quickly they want to pursue that it's like this person's ready <laughs> like um yeah they might just not be saying that for some reason um pile number three what are they holding back pile number three's person 
Ace of Wands. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. It's like, I feel this sense that they want this new beginning. They feel very passionate about a new beginning with you. They're, it's like, here's what I'm getting, is that you almost feel like this person with coming to life too. It's like, maybe this person has just gone through some sort of transition, or maybe it's like you perceive them as... feeling really down or like left out or um what you it's hidden is how much more of a growth mindset and an abundance mindset that they have right now even if they have gone through some kind of a loss they're not actually down in the dumps about it they're not going to be stagnant for like the next year about it it's like they actually have a lot clearer direction that i think has been shown to you um yeah it's like I'm ready. It's like I'm already ready to, I'm ready and I'm sure of what I want. And I'm willing with this endurance card to get through whatever obstacles there are. Whatever's held me back thus far. Like I'm the tower. It's like it's suddenly fell, fallen away. So maybe whatever they were holding on to could have been from childhood. Maybe there was a lack mentality Maybe there was a fear-based mentality around love or around connection. And that's something that's being shifted. So I'm getting that this person has had a tower moment recently that maybe has been difficult or has led to the loss of something. But I feel like it's also empowered this person to have more of an idea of where they want to go and what, what, they're, what, what they're passionate about. It was like a tower moment that needed to happen is what I'm getting. All right, one more. What is pile number three holding back? Another person, pile number three's person. All right, we have the king of pentacles. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the sun, and then we also have the world and the page of pentacles. Six of swords underneath that. Yeah, so what they're holding back um, is this sunny outlook. Like, what I'm getting more than anything is like, let me just put these in the view it's it's like this sense that you maybe think this person feels destabilized right now or like they're not in a position to give commitment or give give consistency but this person is like very confident actually in this connection with the sun here in the world they see the vision it's like they've closed out a chapter number one but i feel like along with closing out a chapter they are yeah, it, actually with the world here, it's like this person closing out this chapter that they've been in that maybe has been a struggle is more of a celebration. There's probably some feeling of loss in that, but the overall feeling is that there's a celebration in it and a more excitement for what's to come in the future. And it's like this person's ready to be in the full energy with the Page of Pentacles, Six of Swords. They're ready to move away from whatever has been hard, whatever has kept them maybe stagnant or low in energy or even just feeling uninspired no sorry my dog is crying it's okay co you gotta wait no sorry he he begs for walks like literally every hour so i've already taken him on one trust me but we have yeah so we have lots of the pentacles suit what are they holding back from you is the groundedness that they feel and the groundedness that they feel with you and how much commitment they could give. They feel like they would be ready to, to start building something with you. Um, I want to see why they've been, why is this being held back? I just heard the song um, Home. I don't even know who it's by, but I think it's like Edwards and something, but it's like, oh, home. Yes, I am home. Home whenever I am with you. That was not the right tune, but it's like that song. So this person maybe feels a strong sense of stability with you, a strong sense of home. So it's like they maybe have been destabilized in some capacity but they it, it's like they feel safe with you regardless it's like it's almost like they're saying that they're 
yes, maybe things are changing. Maybe certain things with childhood. Maybe there are certain things from their childhood falling apart. Um, certain things. Maybe there's a sense of familiarity falling away from them. But what they're holding back is that you feel like their authentic home. You feel like they're like soul's home. So maybe this person's been working through a lot of karma or just like learned conditioning and but it, and it is bittersweet when you say goodbye to that but i feel like at the same time they feel this optimism about we have the truth here also and we have fire underneath that like you oh romance underneath that so i feel like this person feels just like at their heart and at their core that like you're right for them um why why are they holding this back though why is this being held back we have three of swords we have death. Yeah, because they're going through something. So with the three of swords here and death. Um, okay, so here's what I'm getting is that maybe what they're showing you more of, which I think is actually true, though, is that this person does seem to be mourning something. They do seem to be going through some kind of rebirth or transition that is painful. So don't get them wrong. Like that is very real. And so I feel like they maybe feel like they need a little bit more time with this. But what I feel like is being hidden is just how much this person is like, they're like, okay, I'll be good in like three weeks from now. Like th this person is, what they're not showing you is that they're already sure of what they want more than anything. Maybe this person does need to take a little bit of time to mourn what they've let behind le or leaving behind. But at the same time, they're not confused about what they want. Um, yeah, they just maybe feel like it, they need to be healthy they maybe feel like they have to like give a take a break or kind of mourn what's past yeah yeah five of swords so i'm really getting here that this person is uh processing feelings of fear um they're processing maybe a, a loss it's like this person has gone through some kind of a loss or a defeat they maybe are feeling a little bit defeated about this situation um, and I, that might just be what they're showing you is that they feel a little bit defeated and sad and heartbroken and like they're going through a difficult change in their life. And so that's just what they feel is most appropriate to focus on right now. But underneath that, there's like a lot of optimism and desire to like start something new with you. Um, they might even feel like it would be like I'm hearing improper like or just it would be. They don't, here's what they don't want is to jump the gun on something and not process the pain that they need to process. They don't want to bring that into the relationship. So it's like, yes, this person knows, it's almost like they aren't, they know they aren't in control. If they could press a button and just have healed the past, I think we all would. But like, if this person could just be with you tomorrow, they would, but they feel like what's right in their heart is to spend some time mourning this and make sure that they've processed it before they maybe share their feelings with you or before they, yeah, before they escalate the situation with you, they want to just make sure they're in a place to be a good partner or be someone that's like in a good position. Like they just don't want to mess anything up. But what is hidden is the two of wands to desire. They have a lot of desire for you. Um, you, you wake them up. Like even though maybe they're still mourning something, they feel like you like I'm feeling a burning sensation in a good or not in a good way but like I'm not not in a weird way but like in the sacral chakra like this person has a lot of desire for you like a lot of emotional like they they want to be intimate with you is how I feel and they so they just feel naturally drawn to you like magnetized to you and they're just logically, though, knowing that they need to take some time to process what they're going through before they start anything with you. So I'm going to take into the extended, by the way, which I forgot to tell you guys, but it is going to be this person's feelings for you. We're going to be looking at where they want the connection to go. And then we're going to be getting some advice for you on this connection, whatever you need to know, um, how to move forward, etc. So thank you so much for being here. And um watching this video if you did enjoy it i do appreciate if you're able to hit the like button leave a comment i do read and appreciate all of your guys's comments so thank you for that feedback and if you want to see more readings from this channel um hit the subscribe button so you're able to see future readings and if you want to be notified when i post just make sure you hit the bell button so i hope you guys are having a good week so far and i hope to connect with you again soon